Hey YouTube, back today with another video. Today we'll be going through Mail Day uh, and also some Brothers and Cards packs. Um, so Brothers and Cards is a uh, monthly subscription pack. Uh, I purchased two of theirs for the month of June. June? Yeah, for the month of June. Um, it's about $140 each. Uh, they give you the list of which packs um, you can expect to receive in the mail. Uh, and I think I got a couple of like Optic T-Mall um, yeah, and I, I can't remember the rest, but, uh, I'd say value-wise, it's, uh, it's more expensive than some of the others, like Boombox, um, and Sports Card Direct, but, uh, you do get, um, higher-end packs, so, uh, it's high risk, high reward when compared to the others. Alright, so I'm just going to open all these packages. We'll save the Brothers and Cards for last. So all of this stuff came in last night. Um, I think it's mostly stuff I bought off of eBay. Um, so this I got, yeah, these are some redemption car cards I got. And usually uh, with Panini Redemptions, I've heard horror stories um, of them taking forever to get cards out, uh, but which is why I guess the price for these was pretty low. So um, I thought, you know, may as well just buy them and hold on to them um, and I guess try and redeem them. If they don't come through, then they always offer replacements as well. Um, so this one is a... Bruno Fernando, Rookie Patch Autographs Horizontal. No idea what the card actually looks like, but I think it's numbered to, I want to say 40, either 49 or 25. So um, I got it for like roughly 40 bucks, pretty cheap. Um, this is a Mie Oni, Rookie Autographs. Um, I got this for even cheaper. I think I got it for like seven bucks. So uh, not really, people don't really go after that card, but um, again, you never know with rookies. And then finally, just a DeMar DeRozan um, rookie card. Just because I'm a Raptors fan. Next up. Donovan Mitchell, uh, red, yellow, 9.5. Um, so it has a 9 subgrade. But again, I got this for pretty cheap, uh, probably because it had the 9 subgrade. Um, but what I might be planning to do with this is uh, cracking it and submitting it to PSA uh, just to see if they'll give it a, a 10. So yeah, Donovan Mitchell cards uh, have gotten really expensive lately. Um, so I thought may as well just try and pick up something for cheap while I can, um, and then maybe even resubmit it for grading. These are, I think, some more Donovan Mitchell cards, uh, but they're the um, Optic Shock variety. Yep. So these are Optic Shock. Overall, I just really like the design of it really stands out. I'll give these a closer look um, off camera just to see like corners and edges and stuff. Uh, and then again, maybe submit it for grading. Uh, so with grading, how it works is uh, it normally costs like 20 to $30 uh, for each card that you want to send in. And then you got to pay for shipping and uh, for the company to ship back to you. Um, and of course they grade it on a couple, a couple of things, including like Corners, are they sharp? Edges, again, are they clean? Um, and like the surface, are there any like dings or marks on it? And then also uh, centering, so just the print of the card itself. Um, so this one is again another Donovan Mitchell, but uh, this one is probably my favorite out of all of them because it's the rookie checkerboard pattern, uh, which is super short print, 
uh, obviously not as common as the other cards that I just showed. So this one has a 9 rating from BGS. They gave The reason why I picked this one up is because, uh, again, it's super rare. I hardly see these on eBay. But then also, um, I think the 9 grade um, is pretty tough on the card. So um, centering was a 10, and edges are a 9.5. So uh, there's like basically almost two flawless components to the card. Um, the corners and the surface, they gave a 9. So maybe there's something on there that I can eventually clean up. Uh, and then again, resubmit for grading and see if they'll give us something higher. So yeah, really cool pattern. Um, again, I've been noticing that a lot of the recent rookies have been like skyrocketing in prices, uh, especially Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum. Um, so I tried to pick up cards uh, whenever I can for cheap. All right, let's get on to Brothers and Cards. So, lots of packs in here. Let me see if they separated it into two. So I can't exactly tell which box is which, but we'll just go through the packs uh, and then we'll give it like a final value. Okay, so we got Hoops, Optic T-Mall, uh, of course, Optic Team All has the red and gold wave exclusives, which are highly sought after. We have Revolution Chinese. Um, this is the Chinese version of the Revolution Basketball hobby box, uh, and these come with I think the I think they're they're just called like the Chinese New Year um, parallel or prism. I can't remember, uh, but yeah, special design. Um, we've got Optic. I don't know if this is a hobby pack. Anyways, we got Optic, um, and we got Prism. Nice. Other side, we got more Prism. Got more hoops. Let's try and uh, sort them together. Got a pack of Mosaic Fast Break. Sweet. And then more Revolution Chinese New Year Edition. And another optic. Okay, so let me sort these out. Um, so I think value-wise, it is more expensive than other subscription boxes, but uh, you do get more premium packs, um, which of course lets you sort of buy into them without having to buy the whole pack, uh, given that prices have skyrocketed lately. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll go first with hoops. Uh, we'll do. Revolution Chinese New Year after, uh, and then we'll do like the optics and the, the prism and then the mosaic. All right, let's see if uh, see if we get something good from these packs. So hoops is uh, kind of like filler packs in a lot of these subscription boxes. It's one of the more cheaper products, uh, I think, just because of the design of the cards. Um, so we got Evan Turner, Kobe White rookie, Bull Bull, nice. All right, we got John Morant. So the hoops designs are a lot simpler um, than other Panini products, but um, that can be appealing to some collectors uh, just because it's simpler, it's cleaner, uh, and then also less chances of like printing errors, um, centering errors, stuff like that. Josh Hart, DeJounte Murray, Hamadou Diallo. Action shots, Trey Young. That's cool. Austin Rivers, Wendell Carter Jr. Got Julius Randle, Marcus Gasol, 
Terrence Ferguson, Tyler Hero, Jeremy Lamb, we got next, Tyler Hero again, nice. Wilson Chandler, Justin Jackson. Evan Turner again. Julius Randle. Grant Williams. AD. Tribute. What is this card? Draymond Green. High voltage. Man, that's super shiny. That's a nice looking card. We've got Courtney Lee. Trey Young and Terry Rogier. All right, we've got Bridges, Carl Anthony Towns, RJ Barrett, Isaiah Roby, Highlights, Dirk Nowitzki. Farewell game. Justice Winslow, Don Maker, and Tori Inference. I'd say pretty good. Um, we got the John Morant tribute card. We got pretty good rookies. Uh, and then we got Trey Young. All right, let's open these Revolution Chinese New Year packs. Uh, I know the Chinese New Year box goes for a lot less than the regular Revolution box. Uh, and I think it's just because um, it's harder to find hits. Like, a lot harder. <laughs> I've seen people open these, and uh, it did not turn out too well. Got Chinese New Year, Kyle Kuzma. DeAndre Hunter. But I will say that the Revolution cards uh, in general are, like, some of the nicer cards I've seen. I really like the design of them. Uh, Karis LeVert, Russell Westbrook. So yeah, I think the reason why these packs um, are pretty rough to open is because uh, on average, I think there's only one Chinese New Year um, card in the pack. And then the rest are all just base. So we got DeMarcus Cousins, Chinese New Year. Trey Young. Gary Harris. Kevin Herter, Lonnie Walker. So yeah, and I think uh, I think the upside to these packs aren't even aren't that great either. I don't know exactly if uh, if they have anything else other than the Chinese Finger parallels. We've got Jared Culver. That's a nice card, Chinese New Year edition. And it's actually numbered sixty-two out of eighty-eight. I guess this, this, this is the uh, the green version of the Chinese New Year parallel. Because the other ones are red ones and they're non-numbered. Sweet. That's a nice card. Continuing on, we've got Jalen Noel. Kyle Lowry. Kevin Knox. And Clint Capella. opening that way. Got Jimmy Butler, Chinese New Year, non numbered. PJ Washington Jr., Malcolm Brogdon, 
Dennis Smith Jr., Andrew Wiggins. All right, two more of these. Got Jordan Poole, Chinese New Year edition. Casey Opala. D. Rose, Jamal Murray, and DeMar DeRozan. All right, last of these packs. Jordan Clarkson, Joel Embiid, Blake Griffin, D'Angelo Russell, Damian Lillard. So I'd say actually better than what I expected. Uh, we pulled um, the Jarrett Culver numbered card, which is really nice. So I'm not sure if these are hobby packs, retail packs, um, but we'll, we'll go with them first. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm expecting in these. All right, we've got Gary Harris, Nicholas Batum. Wow, look at that. DeAndre Hunter. Is this numbered? Yep, numbered 182 to, out of 199. I guess it's the orange border variety. This is the first time I've pulled an orange border. Sweet. And then finally, Jordan Poole. All right, we've got Grant Williams, Jaron Jackson Jr., Kemba Walker, Silver, and De'Aaron Fox. All right, let's do the uh, T-Mall cards next. So in these, we're looking for red and gold waves. Uh, I think the red waves are numbered to 25 and the gold waves are numbered to 10. Got Chris Paul, Brez Dacus. Oh, I see a red wave. What is this? Oh, Dwight Powell. So yeah, the, the red and the gold waves look really good. Should be numbered to 25. I guess, I don't know if they actually have numbering, but um, I believe the numbering is to 20, it's like 25. So really, like, super short prints on, like, both red and gold waves. All right, out of this, we got Colin Sexton. Oh, we see, I see a gold wave. Jordan Poole. All right, I'm excited for this next card. Net. Kyrie, Kyrie, Splash. Man, that's a nice looking card. That is really cool. Uh, the Splash design itself is really nice and then adding the gold wave on top of it. It's look, like, he's like shooting into a sunset. It's really cool. And then Dennis Smith Jr. Man, that's a, that's a really nice card. I'm going to put it into a top loader right away, actually. So I don't know exactly how common the, uh, the red and the gold waves are if you're supposed to find one in each pack or something, but um, I think finding a gold wave Kyrie Splash is, uh, is always good. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this into a top loader. All right. All 
Man, that's a that's just a sick card. All right. Uh, so next up, we got Prism. We'll go through these, uh, and then we'll leave the fast break packs pack for last. Alright, we've got Nurkic, Torian Prince, Nasir Little, and Larry Bird. Of course, we're looking for Zion. We haven't pulled Zion yet, uh, and then the only job we've pulled was the, the Hoops variety. So hoping for a bit more. We've got Kevin Knox, Seku, Dumboya. NBA finalists, Larry Bird, and Larry Nance Jr. All right, we've got Okafor, Kobe White, MKG, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Green Prism, and Colin Sexton. All right, last pack. Hopefully we can pull something big from here. Eight cards per pack. I think the fast break box itself comes with one auto. Um, and I think there are, I don't know how many packs are in each box, to be honest. I think it's somewhere where like at least eight, so our chances aren't too great. Uh, we got Al Horford, Brandon Ingram, Diallo, D'Angelo Russell. All right, this looks like a disco card NBA debut, Kendrick Nunn. I don't know what the exact name of this design is, but um, I think it's called like Disco or like Fast Break. I don't know if I'm being 100% honest. It's a nice looking card though. Next up we got Jackson Hayes, Carson Edwards, and Steph Curry USA Basketball. All right, so to recap everything, we got a lot of, we got two stacks here. Uh, we got a lot of base cards. And then we also got... I see some pretty good... Some pretty good pulls, despite not pulling Zion. Uh, so we got the Kendrick Nunn card. Yeah. Highlights are definitely um, Kendrick Nunn. I'm going to pull them out. Uh, Dwight Powell, Red Wave. DeAndre Hunter. Orange Border. Jared Culver, Tyler Hero, John Morant, and Trey Young. All right, so for highlights, we got Trey Young from Hoops, John Morant from Hoops, Tyler Hero, we got next, Jared Culver. Numbered to 199, or sorry, 88. DeAndre Hunter, Dwight Powell, Red Wave, Kendrick Nunn, and then of course, the Kyrie Gold Wave Splash. So I don't know if we made up our value in terms of the cost of the two boxes, but um, the card, I'd say the pack quality was really up there. Uh, those are like some of the highest and products that you can buy uh so mosaic uh fast break and then also like optic t-mall um prism uh so you're getting good like pretty good value for the money that you're paying again it's it's like pretty expensive for a subscription box but then uh yeah they give you some pretty good packs in there we weren't too lucky today but uh maybe next next month um we can pull some better cards all right thanks for watching guys
I'll see you in the next one.